to be keeper. Just the other one. This is our video now. Then now this thing goes to you too. Let me just see you soon. My name is Rosa Diambo Chen. I'm the director of Blue Bomber Soccer Academy. My name is Philip Osianju Anjoya, and I'm currently I'm technical director at Blue Bombers Academy. And my name is Simon Mulama. I'm a, I'm a coach at a Blue Bombers Academy. I started Blue Bombers in 2016 with the Foundation Kids. Uh, it ran until 2017, where I decided to engage also the paying students. The reason why I did that is because of, uh, it was a challenge for me to take them to tournaments out of uh, town, let's say like Nakuru tournaments or Arusha tournaments. That's why I, I engaged the uh, paying students. Our academy is currently, we are working on developing young players and trying to mentor them to become good sportsmen and citizens. Uh, we work with kids from uh, 15, uh, from five years and up. Uh, currently, I'm working with uh, U17s and U15s for the most part in the group, uh, both boys and girls. Uh, the reason why I started Blue Bombers is because I love football. I'm born in between boys. I'm in the middle of eight. Uh, we, we are eight in our family. And first, I'm the fourth born. First born, second born are boys, even the sixth, fifth born and sixth born. So most of them, they were watching ball. So that's when my interest came. And uh, also I'm a mother and a grandmother. So I have two sons who also happen to love football. That's why I started with them. And uh, they really, really love it and they're doing so well. So with them, I said, why not? That's why I started football because of my grandsons. An, ac an academy in the society, uh, and in a setup like Kenya, uh, for the most part, um, plays the role, uh, of course, of nurturing talent, number one. Uh, identifying and developing the same talent. Um, also giving an opportunity for, for kids uh, to sharpen their skills, uh, number one, to interact and socialize um, sports-wise and otherwise. Um, we also have the possibility of having specialized training um, whether it's defending, whether it's um, uh, improving the technical ability of the player. Um, the academy is, uh, is best suited for that because we have the time and the space um, and opportunity through, uh, through tournaments and uh, small games that, you, that we organize in, in, a, in, a, in an organized environment. So academy, the, an academy plays a big role in doing that identifying the talent, developing it, nurturing it, um, uh, doing specialized training. Um, and also it's a good place because um, monitoring and evaluating and keeping tabs on the players is easy. Um, unlike in different clubs, yes, we can, we can have players move from one academy to another, but uh, for the most part, 
it's easy to monitor the players' growth and development from this age uh, over time and see how well uh, they're progressing in terms of development. We are here for, we've been training for the last uh, five years and uh, I can see a lot of improvements. Um, we, are, we are participating in uh, uh, Raising Stars League and also FKF League and also we do a lot of tournaments. We have our own, we have Bomba Cup and we also have Lavi Development Cup. And I've seen a lot of changes in these uh, foundation kids. Uh, most of them came when they are too rude, they don't know uh, what discipline is. They do funny things like uh, drugs and all that. So we mentor them. So most of the kids, we mentor them, we go to their schools, we talk to the teachers and we do a follow up on their uh, performance. And also the paying student, we do the same. But mostly for the foundation kids, because where they stay, there are a lot of uh, um, bad things happening there. Like uh, you'd see uh, most of them uh, being abused. And uh, now we are trying to make them come out of that kind of environment. Compared to when I used to play as a young kid, and now we have different challenges. For us, when we used to grow up, there was no football academies, and our coaches used to train us according the way they were trained. But for now, we have better training for coaches and officials, so academies now, they have trained coaches, so it's good for the development of the kids. You know, you mentioned from um, years back, we never had uh, clubs or academies that could accommodate as many players. So we had a few clubs that participated in, um, in youth leagues and tournaments and friendly matches. Um, so the number of kids, the pool of players that we had was not as big. Yes, we had talented players, we had talented, talented individuals in the community, in society, uh, but we, we, we had not developed a way of harmonizing that and giving them an opportunity. So we had fewer clubs, clubs could not accommodate so many people, so a lot of people were left out of the game. Now with the inclusion of academies and organized structures and organized competitions, uh, number one, the number of kids participating in outdoor competitions and play and training uh, is huge. So we have a bigger pool of players, a bigger pool of coaches, which in turn, uh, we believe with well-trained coaches and well-trained players, uh, we believe that we'll have a, an even bigger pool of players that will, will participate in not only the local leagues, but also in the um, international or foreign leagues. So the number of players that we might be able to export outside the country uh, in terms of transfers and such will be a little bigger than we had before because we have a larger pool to pick from. We have three boys who have managed through Blue Bombers, uh, gotten a, a scholarship to uh, Ma Leicester, Leicester Academy in Europe, England, and also one went to France. And also Trevor here, uh, we are planning to send him to 
Europe. So he has joined Talanta uh, with the help of one of our uh, sponsors called Bruna, Edward Bruna from Austria. So there's a lot of improvement from Blue Bombers. We are getting more sponsors. Yeah. For any parents out there who would love to join Blue Bombers, we are located at uh, Hodari Grounds uh, on uh, Naushad Mirali Road, directly opposite Lovington Cab, and also Jaffrey's, which is next to Hodari. Uh, our number, our contact number is 0796 uh, 850038.